2 Samuel chapter 18 Absalom is slain. David took a census of the people who were with him and appointed over them commanders of thousands and of hundreds. Then David dispatched the people, a third of them under the command of Joab, a third under Avishai the son of Truya, Joab's brother, and a third under Ittai the Gitti. And the king said to the people, I will also go out with you, myself. But the people replied, Don't go out, because if we flee, they won't care about us. Even if half of us die, they won't care about us. But you are worth ten thousand of us, so it is better now that you stay in the city and be ready if we need help. The king answered them, I will do whatever you think best. So the king stood at the side of the gate, while all the people went out by hundreds and by thousands. The king gave orders to Joab, Avishai and Ittai, For my sake, deal gently with young Absalom. All the people were listening when the king gave all the commanders this order concerning Absalom. So the people went out into the field against Israel. The battle took place in the forest of Ephraim. The people of Israel were defeated there by David's servants. There was a terrible slaughter that day of 20,000 men. For the battle there was spread all over the countryside. The forest devoured more people that day than did the sword. Avshalom happened to meet some of David's servants. Avshalom was riding his mule, and as the mule walked under the thick branches of a big terabinth tree, his head got caught in the terabinth, so that he was left hanging between earth and sky, as the mule went on from under him. Someone saw it and told Yoav, I saw Avshalom hanging in a terabinth. Yoav asked the man who told him, Here now, you saw it, so why didn't you strike him to the ground then and there? I would have had to give you ten pieces of silver and a belt besides. The man replied to Yoav, Even if I were to get a thousand pieces of silver, I still wouldn't raise my hand against the son of the king. After all, while we were listening, the king ordered you, Avishai and Ittai, be careful that no one touches young Avshalom. Or, if I had pretended that I didn't know, the king would have known otherwise anyway, and you wouldn't have interceded for me either. Yoav said, I can't waste time arguing with you. He took three darts in his hand and rammed them through Avshalom's heart while he was still alive, hanging from the terabinth. Then Yoav's ten young armor-bearers surrounded Avshalom, struck him and killed him. Yoav sounded the shofar, and the people returned from pursuing Israel, because Yoav held back the troops. They took Avshalom and threw him into a big pit in the forest and piled a big heap of stones over him. All Israel fled, each one to his tent. In his own lifetime Avshalom had taken and raised for himself the pillar which stands in the king's valley, because he said, I don't have a son to preserve the memory of my name. So he named the pillar after himself, and it's called Avshalom's monument to this day. Then Achamats the son of Zadok said, Let me run now and bring news to the king that Adonai has judged in his favor by releasing him from his enemies. Yoav said to him, You are not to be the one to bring the news today. You can convey news another day. But today you will not bring news, because the king's son is dead. Then Yoav said to the Ethiopian, Go, tell the king what you saw. The Ethiopian bowed to Yoav, then ran off. But Achamats the son of Zadok said again to Yoav, Come what may, please let me also run after the Ethiopian. Yoav answered, Why do you want to run, my son? You won't receive any reward for bringing the news. I don't care, whatever happens, I want to run. So he said to him, Run. 
then Achamats ran by the road through the desert flats and out in the Ethiopian. David was sitting between the two gates. A watchman went up to the roof of the gate and out onto the wall, raised his eyes, looked, and saw there a man running by himself. The watchman cried out and told the king. The king said, if he's alone, he has good news to tell, as he ran along and came close. The watchman saw another man running and called to the gatekeeper, there's another man running by himself. The king said, he too must have good news. The watchman said, the first one runs like Achimats the son of Zadok. The king said, he's a good man, he comes with good news. Achimats called to the king, Shalom, prostrated himself before the king with his face to the ground and said, Blessed be Adonai your God, who has handed over the men who rebelled against my lord the king. The king asked, Is everything all right with young Avshalom? Achimats answered, When Yoav sent the king's servant and me your servant, I saw a big commotion, but I didn't know what it was. The king said, Go, and stand over there. So he went and stood there. Then up came the Ethiopian, and the Ethiopian said, There's good news for my lord the king, for Adonai has judged in your favor and rid you of all those who rebelled against you. The king asked the Ethiopian, Is everything all right with young Avshalom? The Ethiopian answered, May the enemies of my lord the king and all who rebel against you in order to harm you be as that young man is.